today we are going to be talking about Dami Crane and versus Techno, Bobriski and Samuel Ajibola, the comedian <laughs> or the actor. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, guys. There's an ongoing beef right now between Dami Crane and Tech, you know. Sometimes this artist stage beef in order to be relevant. Um, I think Dami Crane is trying to get attention and using you know different ways to get back to the game. Sometimes it might be you know a real beef. Um, but right about now it's about Techno and Dami Crane. Recently Techno acquired a new Jeep Wrangler. After I posted it on social media, Dami Crane blasted him, says the Jeep doesn't belong to Techno, that Techno should instead get a house or buy a house. I don't know, is Techno staying in the rented apartment? I don't know anything about that. Um, let me quickly read what Dami Crane posted on his Snapchat page. He said, Duckhead always parking people's cars in his compound to deceive fans. I've been a promo um, because I run down, get Lambo, go and buy a house. So that is what Dami Crane posted online and Techino you know, replied as expected, but in a subtle way. He said, It needs, he's using it, you know, to refer to Dami Crane. Okay. He said it needs a career of its own. It's trying so hard. It looks like they're having a kind of beef, but like I said, it might be staged. No one knows. Celebrities these days, they just intentionally do that to get attention sometimes, not all the time. Okay, let us move on to the next news. In the next news, we have Bobriski. Now, Bobriski posted something recently i think yesterday it was posted yesterday whether you're gay or not you shouldn't be posting something like this online I, and i think this guy should be very careful i am not a fan of bobriski and i am not against him as well i'm just trying to make sense out of this because this is not what you should be posting online you don't know who is very close to you with that weapon you know to hurt you for being gay living in a country that's gay or the act is highly prohibited you have to be very careful what you post online let me read what he posted recently f celebrity f fake friends f haters live your life to please yourself not anybody if you like have one billion followers i care less about that michael jackson was the top world celebrity then with so much followers Biko, where is he today mko was one of the richest man in nigeria then please where he is now if you like love me or hate me is your business the fact still remain no one can make you happy only you can make yourself happy and he says here yeah, that all these boys and girls coming to drop comment on my on page are all stupid do you do you think your hate comments can change me why are you trying so hard to get my attention f off my page and go and find something meaningful to do with your life just this morning i've made up to seven fifty thousand naira also still continue you are here wasting your mb on someone else's lifestyle if all your insult bothered me i should have stopped posting here yes i'm gay and i will go to hell thanks please what else i'm tired of that same words i want to hear something new cheers the media is saying a different thing reading this comment i think what he's trying to say is a lot of people have actually said he's gay that it will go to hell like he did not say he's gay um he just said like um yes i'm gay i will go to hell thanks please what else so um but the media have a different thing about this they said yes i'll go there because i was about you know saying why would you just say you're gay you have to be very careful of what you say still you have you still have to be very careful people could easily be confused by this post you know saying um yeah yes you're gay yes you're that the next news we have um samuel ajibola samuel ajibola is an actor he has this show on youtube daily issues but recently featured the former president of Nigeria, Olusha Gombasanjo, and that was how I even got to know that there was something online called Daily Issues. I only watch him on the popular sitcom on African Magic, The Johnsons. That was how I got to know him, but he was interviewed. I was even curious, like, how did he manage to get Obasanjo on his show? He says here that, well, it didn't take much time when God wants to bless you. It just happens all, all of a sudden. Before you know it, things would just start working faster for you. We were at the center of a bus and just rally then. He wanted to do the 2017 youth dialogue. 
which was four months ago he was going to be the father of the day while i was the host of the event i just pitched the idea to my management team and told them i wanted to do this as my little contribution to the growth of the youth i was ready for the wars i had already programmed my mind for anything but when i met him he loved the idea so that was how he got a passenger on his show nice one brilliant move yeah like i said that was how i even got to know that there was something called daily issues on youtube i think that's one thing with youtube you just need one video then i watched all his videos after that like all he put so much effort in that daily issues on youtube you guys go check it out uh, this guy's talented kudos to him so guys that is it about this whole thing so let me know what you think about bobiski saying is gay online i don't think that is what actually what he meant but it might be what you know he's trying to say but to my own understanding i think you know just to let us know that he doesn't care you know also let me know about dami crane and techno the fight between them stage or not stage and i don't believe these celebrities anymore about the beef and stuff so thanks guys for watching until we see you next time peace